that blue and white and orange blur vigorously racing up the walkway is Mary Good, a grandmother of 35 who loves to leave her mark. I really love to, to draw. Usually with a paintbrush or pencil. When we were kids, she would write our names on our lunch sacks, and it was always in a very artistic manner. I am not expecting the Mona Lisa, okay? I'm not expecting a masterpiece. Lately, she's flexing those art muscles through the Johnson Adult Day program, which helps those battling memory loss. Mary has been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. My daughters brought me down here because they could see a sadness that I had. Through art, her sadness is erased. But who could have imagined what did you marry? her next canvas would be a wall? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Is that enough? Demographically speaking, these seniors do not fit the profile of a graffiti artist. Let's see, that's too big. Yet armed with water-based spray paint, they're defying stereotypes. It's a new idea at the Access Art Gallery in Denver called Granny Does Graffiti. What's it like seeing your mom do this? Oh, it's so fun. The idea came from Damon McLeese, whose mother had dementia. And my belief is that by introducing something new, sometimes it that opens a different channel or a different pathway in the brain, and we get a glimpse of the person that's still there. For Mary, her initials, MSG, trigger thoughts of her high school, which had the same initials. It's also my school was Mount St. Gertrude. It's just doing so much more for her than just plain old painting, you know? It's bringing back memories. I think this is a lot of fun. Which means Mary can continue to leave her mark. Joe Fryer, NBC News. Denver. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.